Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at using HSL to do a bit of colour grading on a picture uh, and also we're starting to look at the blend modes and the effects you can get with that. When you first look at the picture, before we do anything to it, look for the colours and the patterns within it. So in this picture, your eye might start in a bright area here or down here perhaps, but as you look down here you've got a blue going across here through the clothing and down to here. And then across underneath it you've got a pattern of yellow going back up here and through the buildings. And blue and yellow are opposites on the colour wheel. So that was deliberate and this already gives us a base with which to work. So let's bring up HSL. And what can we do with this? So the first thing we can do is just look at what we when you move things the first thing to just play with the, the, the controls here with saturation you often get a useful point around about 50 percent you can roll the mouse wheel over the numbers to get the number that it exactly to the position if you want but there you go minus 50 and what you've got is a kind of muted effect and that muted quietens the picture down and it can be quite pleasant like that if you want just something in the background so what else can we do? Well we can start playing with the colours and if I push the colours a bit it doesn't completely spoil it. If you throw it miles away it looks just looks odd but if you move say if you move it to 30 degrees here then you're tilting it round one, like one click on the 12 colour scale and now we see what we've got is the sky is still you know, a recognisable kind of colour and down here, so now the pattern here is more of a teal and orange coming down here. And so that in itself is interesting. And when you do pictures like this, you can always turn down the saturation a bit, as we did, or you can use the opacity. And you'll get slightly different effects. You see here you're going back towards the original picture. With that, you can still also go further on with that. So let's double that up again and go to 60. And now it's more of a green and red picture. And again, we can pull this down here, take this down here, say to minus 50. And that's again a more subtle approach here. The thing when you've got skin is always to check whether that just looks realistic. It's surprising how much you can push it. But often you need to be around the red, orange. You can go a bit into magenta and yellow as well but that gives an image and it's surprising how the what that can work within that okay let's reset this and try blend modes we'll just try one blend mode we'll start with the first one here bar darken and say what can we do with that well when it's normal you can turn the saturation down and it goes gray but if i turn the saturation down with this then it doesn't go gray because it is blending the dark and blend mode, the grayed picture with the original picture. And what you get here is a kind of grunging effect. Again, because you've got the colour pattern here, it still kind of works as a picture. But these have gone here from a yellow to almost a kind of green in this, which again is a, a something that can be interesting. You can play also with the luminosity. Look what happens when we play with this. You push it up you get back towards the picture but if I pull it down what's happening is all the colors are disappearing if I turn it just down a bit maybe get down as far as minus 20 I've just got color in it like this here and why does the yellow remain and that's because luminosity treats colors by perception so it sees yellow as the brightest color and so it's the last one to be taken off so we get an effect like this and it's almost like a sort of muted pop what else can we do here? Well, if we just reset these, double click them to put them back at the beginning. Watch what happens here. If I just push the saturation up, it's not as harsh as doing it normally. So I can even go up here to say 50. And look, it's quite a pleasant picture. It's just like a bright day. So that's something you can do to brighten up a picture with HSL. You take a dark and blend mode and push up the saturation. Because if you went back to the original here, it's already too too harsh. So let's stay with that darken effect. 
So from this then we can also do something like push the colours down here. So if I take this down to around about minus 20 and I take the luminosity, I'm going to push this down a bit as well. Again down to about minus 20. Look what's happened to the colours here. They've really come out very brightly. So again, that's a really a blue and yellow effect there. And maybe there, because we're using all of these already, you could pull the saturation back, but you'd lose a lot of the colour in the sky. So you could keep it with that, or you can see what happens if we take out a bit of opacity. So again, you're losing the strength of it. I think that's quite strong like that. OK, that's it for now. We're going to look at more of the blend modes with this picture in another video or so. Thank you very much for watching.